A uh, few years back um, we decided that um, a as a school that perhaps international trips were an important thing and uh, the sports tour started as a result of that and music of course. Uh, they've had one science tour in the past uh, and a, a past uh, staff member decided to take Southeast Asia trips and from that it built and in the last uh, six or seven years we've had um, trips going into Cambodia. The reason for the actual Cambodia tour is to go and it's a humanitarian project so we go and we build houses for people, we also go to some orphanages and it's to also to really experience what, it, what life is like over there and make you really appreciate what we have as well. What got me really motivated to go on the Cambodia tour was what the other students said and how much of an experience it was for them. I thought the trip would be a lot more censored, um, so I didn't think the school would allow us to see you know, such hardships, and I think that's a credit to the tour. Uh, our relationship with the, with the orphanage now has grown. Um, next year will be the first year that we have uh, four students come out from Sunrise to have a study tour um, here for five weeks. They'll be in our classrooms with the primary school uh, students and also with our high school students uh, doing activities. It's so important for us to share the spirit of compassion, seeing in the world that we live in today where it's a huge global community and everyone's got to be well aware of the situations happening elsewhere and it's not just about the, the amazing lives that we get to live, but to understand and reach out to those who are less fortunate. Also there's a lot of initiative from the students to have the, to hopefully go out and raise their own money for this program. We had like a curry day which was organised by one of the students which was very successful and there's a lot of fundraisers that happen because it's such a huge project raising over twenty thousand dollars for every single year. Uh, the Soup for Sunrise one this year raised a, a huge amount of money to go towards um, our a uh, new project, the 2013 building project, and that involved uh, students that had been on the trip as well as ones that hadn't, um, preparing the soup in their, their normal um, hospitality class with their teacher and actually taking that up and selling it to the staff um, in, in uh, packages, which was great, fantastic. Definitely worthwhile, something that I'll never regret and something that I'll always remember. A change, hopefully that I've changed someone else's life for the better and done something that'll help other people and help even an entire community, help a family. So that's definitely opened my heart and my life to wanting to help others more now, wanting to become more of this person that, like now I know that I can change and help other people on this planet and who definitely do need the help. When we go out to the villages to build, it, the physical conditions for our kids are very tough, but I think they don't say very much because they know that they've got nothing to really complain about. We, uh, as a group, independent of the teachers who were unknowing, we um, collated money, just our spending money that we we're going to use for you know, gifts or what have you, uh, put together and bought a well at the Tabitha headquarters along with two safe uh, baby deliveries, that's to have a midwife present. Uh, we were blown away. That's just an amazing, generous, spontaneous thing for those students to do. Oh, honestly, when the kids did that, when they bought that well, Sandra and I are just there, like, bawling our eyes out that <laughs> kids would think to do that. But anyway, yeah. I think Something that was uh, reiterated to us before we went and when we got there is the point of the tour is however much you put in, you'll get out and that's in an emotional sense and that's completely true. I think the students learn that they're just a small person in a very big world, yet their small efforts when they're pulled together with a number of other students can make a huge difference. We've built over 70 houses now in Cambodia in the last uh, six years. That's an amazing feat. With a family size of roughly 10, 
That's 700 people's lives that they've directly affected and that's just an unbelievable positive thing for anyone to do and I think they do start to realise that small efforts can make a big difference. From this Cambodian trip I've learned that you need to inspire a lot of compassion in other people to help make this trip a full success. And I think that just shows the lasting impact that this tour had on all participants, um, students and teachers alike. So this is something that we'll never forget as a group and be able to have these ties together forever. I'm so lucky to live where I live in Australia. We have such great lives and everything. And because of that, it's, it's really our responsibility. We've got to do something to help other people because not everyone is as lucky and privileged as we are. Especially here at this, with such an amazing school like this, we're so lucky.